Good morning, everyone. So I thought I would bring this to all of your attention. Um, started off busy already today, so I'm a little um, off guard. So anyways, coupon printers. Um, and this comes about as a recent service call um, in fixing a computer. Um, a few years back, okay, maybe more about seven, uh, coupon printers were all the rage. Um, you know, you could uh, download this product print off a coupon for wherever for like a free ice cream cone um and then you never used it again or if you did it was you know the the coupon printers were designed to print off coupons um, and then you could use them at the store now a lot of stores don't take pre-printed coupon or self-printed coupons anymore uh because they've pretty much all went to digital um but the there's a there's a problem with coupon printers they spy on you um, yeah, um, so don't use them. Don't install them. Um, if, if you need to save 25 cents that badly, find it somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> that's just, they, they have, a, and all of them have this problem where not only do they uh, allow you to print off the coupon, but now they tell the person who is supplying the coupon where it's at, who's using it, so on and so forth. So your information is being shared most times without your permission. So if there is a coupon that you absolutely need, go to the manufacturer's website and see if they have it. Go to the store and see if they have it. Like Kroger's has digital coupons. I'm not a Kroger fan, but they do that. Uh, most of your manufacturers, you can contact them via Facebook email by mail, if you like snail mail and say, hey, I would like a coupon for this and they will mail it to you. Um, but coupon printers, no, they're, they're bad. If, if you, if you absolutely have to install a coupon printer to get a coupon that you need, print the coupon and then uninstall the printer. Um, and the way you do that is through your control panel. But yeah, uh, there's an entire list of coupon printers from various companies. Don't use it. Just know it, it's a security risk. Your, your personal information is being, um, for lack of a better we, uh, statement, stolen. Uh, you probably, when you installed it, you get the, the, the terms of service that no one reads. They just scroll down and agree, not realizing that you're, you know, you're sacrificing your own personal information that's given back to not only the coupon company, but back to the manufacturer as to where this, where this coupon was printed, such as your city, um, what type of computer was used to print it, um, and then if you have a profile link to it, such as Facebook, Google, whatever, then they can tag you that way and find out very specific information about you. And then you get tons of more spam. Uh, so no, don't do it. So yeah, coupon printers. No, don't use them. Preferably never ever use them. If you absolutely need to um, install it, get your coupon and then you get out and then you go into your control panel. And then you go into your programs and features, find your coupon printer and uninstall it. Um, don't leave it on there because it will track information even when it's not related to your coupon. So yeah, do that, be safe. Don't share your personal information unwillingly or unknowingly. So that's my thought for the day. Coupon printers, bad thing, don't use them. Um, just be safe. If you need a coupon, contact the manufacturer producer, the store and say, Hey, do you have a coupon and can you send it to me? Um, and they'll usually email it to you or put it in the mail for you, or, you know, maybe they'll leave it at customer service for you to pick up, but yeah, no, <laughs> just don't do coupon printers. They're bad. So if you found this useful, like, share, subscribe. I have recently found out that with subscribing, you have to have a Google account. So if you don't have a Google account, you can either create one, not too difficult, uh, but if you choose not to do that, uh, that's perfectly fine. Just remember, we put out videos every day, so you'll have to come back every day. I usually let them drop at about seven o'clock in the morning. Um, questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Like I said, like, share, subscribe, Facebook here. Need computer services, give us a call. This is our address. Talk to you all later. Thank you.